Глину, Ростову на Дону, вырази респект Хэппи пёс, да и ты самый лучший город на земле Крестный папа крут, как мафиозный Дон Он опасен, как опасен, злачный район Подсовский добр тем, кто приходит с добром Мой дом, мой yeah. У нас в Ростове любители бейсбола больше, чем... Всем привет, товарищи! Это Эл Карлофф, back here again with episode 48 of Let's Play Minecraft Season 1. And in this episode, guys, it has been such a long time um, since I did my last episode. It was on Christmas vacation when I did my last video in this series. And I am finally back. This episode, we are going to be working on St. Petersburg, my new oblast that I'm starting to work on, actually. Um, and yeah, by the way, if you guys don't know, oblast, that means district in Russian, or a republic, or pretty much just like a section of a city and stuff. So, just in case you guys were new to my series and never heard that term before. Um, but yeah, so today I plan to build a small boardwalk. Actually, it's not really that small, it's kind of large. Um, it is the St. Petersburg boardwalk that goes along the edge of the river um, in St. Petersburg, so... I'm not talking about St. Petersburg, Florida, guys. I'm actually talking about in Russia, <laughs> the city. Not um, because I actually went to St. Petersburg in Florida for vacation about seven years ago, so it was really fun. Um, but I'm getting way off topic. <laughs> um, I plan to record a video about last weekend. Um, and upload this video. It was um, I was actually building something small here. And as you can see, this is the land right here in St. Petersburg that I'm gonna build on, and I'm also gonna build a little. Um, port Collis, I guess you could say, to block off the Moskva River. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Also right here, as you can see, that edge right there is what I'm going to be building in this, in this episode, which just happens to be the uh, boardwalk in St. Petersburg, which is really nice if you guys ever get a chance to go there. I strongly recommend you go check it out because there's a lot of like cool shops and stuff. And St. Petersburg, if you guys don't know what it is, it's pretty much like the the Venice of the North. <laughs> That's kind of like a little nickname it, that it's been given over the past few decades. Um, the Venice of the North, because as you guys know, Venice, Italy is a city on water. And St. Petersburg is pretty much the same thing. I think it sits on the Lagoda River. Or, no, not river. Um, the Lagoda Lake. That's what it's called, actually. So, that's what I'm going to be naming this little, um, the, the, what's it called? The lake that St. Petersburg is sitting on right here in my Minecraft world. That's when I'm going to give it the name real quick. So, uh, right now I'm just getting my supplies ready. I got most of them done off camera. And yesterday I uploaded a Spyro video. And um, it turned out to be really good. I got some great feedback on my... Like in the comments section. You guys should go check it out if you aren't a fan of my Spyro series. It, it was a pretty good episode, I have to say. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Also, I have a brand new Saturday gaming series. Um, it's going to be season 2, actually. Because it's a new year in 2013. I'm just doing a brand new season. All new episodes. I'm going to start by making sort of like a new introduction. I'm actually going to have previous games that are recorded on season 1. Those are going to be my intro. So it's going to be something really cool. And also guys, the first video that I'm going to be doing. The first game actually I'm going to be doing in my Saturday Gaming Season 2 of this year. Uh, is probably going to be Far Cry 3 because I absolutely love that game. And I'm probably just going to be doing a stealthy outpost, like a mission or something like that. When you just go to an outpost and capture it and, and uh, pretty much liberate it. So I'm going to be doing that. And that's going to be this Saturday, of course, on my new intro. Hopefully I could get some nice gameplay for you guys to enjoy. And yeah, so far, I'm actually up to 500,000 video views on my channel. I, I'm actually, right now at the moment, 492 video view or 492,000. Uh, video views so yeah that's really amazing um thanks all the thanks to everyone that pretty much watches my videos and likes them and just pretty much supports me overall and i am going to be using this uh sandstone the clean smooth sandstone i guess you could call it i'm going to be using that with the stone brick to um for the outside of the boardwalk because there i guess you could say in the real st petersburg city the boardwalk it has like this real rugged look of stone that sort of looks like sandstone, actually. Um, it sort of looks like this color of sandstone. So that's why I decided to use this, actually. Uh, you know, the smooth 
um, sandstone right here. So that's pretty much why I'm using this in this episode instead of um, like some cobblestone or something that looks real crappy. Because <laughs> I don't want to make this look bad. I want this to turn out almost exactly as it looks in real life. So hopefully I can do that real uh, nice and easily here. And I think I'm going to build this about 6 high and then the stone brick is going to be 5 high. So that's going to be my little layout over here. I'm just rebuilding this real quick. This is post-commentary, by the way, guys. Because uh, I didn't really have any time to record commentary altogether like I usually do. So, unfortunately, this is post-commentary. And also, guys, I have something else down in the bottom left corner. It is my logo, El Karloff, of course. Um, I'm going to be putting that in the bottom left corner of all my videos now, hopefully. Um, I'm just going to put it in this episode and tell me what you guys think about that. Because I do think it makes it look... Like, more professional, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. And I'm not sure if the video is lagging for you guys, but it's probably just my computer. <laughs> because my computer is really bad. I'm not using my new computer because I had to send it back. Because they basically needed to replace the motherboard because it malfunctioned. So, I got a full warranty, so that's really good. And I also bought it from Newegg.com, which is a really good website for buying uh, computers and computer parts. <laughs> My voice just cracked, of course. Uh, did a vintage beef. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you guys want to get a nice gaming computer, go to Newegg. Or you could go to Tiger Direct, which is another good one. Or just pretty and any um, website that you prefer. It doesn't really matter what you guys, what you guys do, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, my computer is going to be back very shortly. Unfortunately, this problem was caused by something that I did. I basically tried to install my HD PVR. Um, I think the 1212 model or something like that onto my uh, Windows 8 computer because my new computer has Windows 8, which is really nice. I actually like Windows 8. It's like a lot simpler and easier to move things around and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much installed it on my new computer. And the thing that happened was really weird because it gave me an error message saying like 401 or something. I don't know. And then um, I couldn't like log on to my computer anymore. And it basically froze up on me. And I did take everything out. I disconnected everything from the motherboard. Cleaned it out. Went through a bunch of system diagnostics. And nothing ever worked. So that's when I finally realized I had to send it in. Uh, to C Cyber Power PC. Which is the company I bought it from. Off of Newegg.com. And uh, yeah. So my motherboard should be coming back. And I also want to get an HD PVR Gaming Edition 2. Um, I think that'll be compatible with my new computers, and it it lights up green too, and it also has a rec it also has a recording button on the top of it. But I heard it doesn't work, so maybe I could fix that if I ever get an HD PVR Gaming Edition too. Um, yeah, I could probably get that actually because I have enough money to buy one, and I also want to get Beats by Dre because <laughs> I do listen to a lot of music, and it's kind of cool when you're editing to have like some nice headphones and stuff. To hear all the different audio and stuff like that. So I'll probably end up getting that. But um, right now I'm just finishing up the boardwalk. It's not going to take that long. The boardwalk is going to go around this entire per the entire perimeter of the water around here. On Lake Lagoda. And I'm not sure if you guys want me to do any more like teaching Russian lessons. Because I'm, I really haven't gotten any requests in the comments down below. But, um, yeah, you guys could still send me requests, and I'll still teach you guys some Russian stuff, like phrases and all that. Because um, I do speak Russian pretty much fluently. I actually first started, like, speaking Russian when I was uh, born. Or not born, you know what I mean, when I was really young. And then about a few years ago, I'd say six years ago, I actually wanted to learn, like, uh, the full Russian. Because I only knew, like, basic conversation stuff. Between my family. That's how I picked it up pretty much. Um, but now. Or like six years ago. I actually took it seriously. And started to learn it. And it's actually one of the easiest languages to learn. Because all pretty much all the Slavic languages are uh, like connected. Like uh, Bulgarian, Ukrainian, Serbian. They're all pretty much connected languages. So once you learn Russian. You can pretty much learn them all. Which is pretty cool. And yeah. So also my midterms are over. I finished them up uh, yesterday, and I did pretty well on them, actually. My math exam was really easy compared to what I thought it was going to be. 
and I didn't get on the honor roll, but I did get, I think, one C as a final grade, which is pretty good. I got, like, two A's, a few B's, and then one C, which is pretty good for me. Although, I used to get on honor roll every time. High school is, like, so freaking hard. <laughs> like, grade-wise, um, I always used to be on the honor roll. Now, I'm, like, slacking a little bit. I don't know why. It's just, like, high school is kind of different compared to middle school and the grade system and stuff. So, <laughs> Yeah, just in case you guys aren't in high school yet, just wait till you get your grades and realize how it is. <laughs> Although I do overstudy a lot, which is probably one of the main reasons I don't get good grades, because I like to study for like weeks at a time on one test just to get it down, and then I end up getting like a B because I didn't, because I overstudied and forgot everything. <laughs> so yeah, that's a bad thing about me, but oh well. At least I study a lot, and. What else am I going to tell? I forgot to tell you. I already mentioned my new El Karloff logo. Tell me if you guys think you like that down below. Because I think it looks pretty cool. And this is, by the way, this is going to be the end of the boardwalk right here. And then I'm going to eventually make it wrap around the rest of the island over here. Or, this isn't really an island. It's like a peninsula. Off the edge of my farming district, which is pretty cool. And, yeah, guys, this season is almost over. I all pretty much have to finish this uh, district and also Moscow. And then we're going to finish uh, East Rostov, which is only a few more buildings. And also we have to do West Rostov, which is going to contain the St. Dimitri Cathedral, which is a beautiful cathedral in real life, actually. So, um, right now, uh, pretty much all I am doing is covering up the top layer of the stone brick and sandstone or smooth sandstone with this, like, uh, I forget what it's called. I just call it smooth clean stone brick. I don't know what it's called. What? <laughs> Who cares? Um, but yeah, I'm doing this. This is going to make it look really awesome. And it's also going to make it look like it's on the located on the ocean, even though Lake Lagoda is just a lake. <laughs> um, so yeah, I could probably add some vines and stuff to make this look more realistic or authentic, but I'll do that a little bit later. Make it look like seaweed or something. <laughs> Although I don't think there's seaweed in St. Petersburg because of the temperatures are so cold up there. And uh, yeah, my family members, they're act they actually live in Moscow right now. And they said it was about, I think, 10 degrees a few days ago. Which isn't really that cold because it's only like... It was 11 degrees here in Ohio a few days ago. So that's not really a big difference in temperatures. But... I, I don't know if you guys uh, remember, there's a city called um, Verkuta. It's in northern Russia, northern Siberia, actually. And the temperature there a few days ago was negative 56, I think. <laughs> so that's freezing. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is my completed wall here. I hope you guys all like this. I think it makes it look like a fortress, which is really awesome. St. Petersburg actually kind of looks like a fortress from the water. <laughs> and the Or from the lake, I mean. In Lake Lagoda, it actually does freeze over completely during the winter time, of course, because it's so freaking cold there. Um, but I actually do love cold weather, so that's good. And, yeah, guys, I also have some great news. I talked to my uh, babushka a few days ago, which is my grandmother, of course. If you guys don't know any Russian like language or anything, <laughs> babushka pretty much means grandmother. And, uh, yeah, she said that I could go to Russia in about two and a half years or so my senior year in high school so that's going to be really amazing i can't wait to go there and like pretty much take pictures of everything and just like do some vlogs that'd be awesome so hopefully i could go there very shortly i i plan to live there one day if i can but i doubt i'll be able to afford it i'm probably just going to end up retiring there or something like that um but yeah i'm not sure what I'm going to do, like, right here, because this is sort of awkward how this boardwalk ends. I could probably make it wrap around here. <laughs> That's what she said. I could probably just make it go up the hill, and then it'll end up at, like, one of the uh, buildings in St. Petersburg. Or something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And, uh, yeah, all my new computer guys, I'm actually going to start a server for Minecraft that you guys can all join. I'm going to hold a contest later on this year. Uh, you guys can send me a video of your amazing builds that you've completed in, like, a creative world or singer player. And then you could send them to me on my contest that I'm going to be holding. And then also, uh, I think on the server I'm going to have this world in it. 
like these uh, this uh Minecraft season one world it's gonna be actually on the server that we're all gonna play on so um of course this is gonna be like my house my house area but you guys could tour it at any time so it's gonna be pretty fun I'm not sure if I'm gonna make my home like a spawn protection or anything like that I probably will because I don't want it being destroyed by any griefers <laughs> even though I'm kind of a griefer um so yeah I don't know what you guys think about that send some feedback down below and tell me what you think if I ever had a server, like if you guys would join it or anything. Because I'd probably let people join if they just want to play with me, on uh, Minecraft with me or anything. So yeah. And right now I'm just lighting up the exterior of the boardwalk here. I'm not sure if they actually called it a boardwalk, but I'm just calling it that because it's a familiar term with people in America. And stuff like that. So just lighting this up here. And what else can I talk about? I forget. I had a whole list written down of what I wanted to say. Oh, wait, I'm going to talk about what I got for Christmas. I don't think I told you guys. Uh, of course, I got a new computer. I got a Canon Rebel T4i camera with two lenses. One of them is just a basic lens that you get. And also, the other one is a zooming lens. I think it's like it can zoom in to like two football fields or something like that. It's not a telescopic one. It's just like a basic zooming lens. So I got a basic lens, then I got a, a extra zooming lens for my new Canon Rebel T4i, which I plan to make a bunch of videos with. Uh, I also got Far Cry 3, of course, which I bought myself because I really wanted the game. I also want to get Crisis 3, which looks like an amazing game. And uh, I'm probably going to get that later on. But also, what else did I get? Oh, I got a chef's cooking set. I got a bunch of stuff in there, like knives and all that stuff. Stuff for making homemade dough and all that good stuff. Because <laughs> I do like to cook. I don't know if you guys knew that. Um, but I decided to take one layer off of this stone right here. I'm actually just going to put one layer of the clean stone thing here. So I'm going to have to redo this entire wall. But I will cut this off so you guys won't see this at all. So that'll be pretty good right here. Also for Christmas, uh, I got a lot of money actually. That's the main thing I got. Um, I think that's pretty much it. There's nothing else I could think of. I got a monitor, of course, on my new computer. Also some speakers. And I also want to get some Beats by Dre. I think I mentioned that l earlier in the episode. Um, but yeah. Basically, guys, I am going to finish this entire wall here. Because, uh, or actually this wall isn't uh, almost finished here, as you can see. I did put one layer on the stone brick. And it does look really amazing. So I'm just going to place my crafting bench. And I am going to make the boardwalk actually. It's going to be dark wood of course. Because that's sort of what the streets are in my new city. Um, so that's how it's going to go. And it's also going to be half slabs here. Because I think it looks really nice. Like the contrast between the stone brick and the dark wood. And the half slabs like that. So I'm going to just place a few of these. And I'm going to cut the video until it's almost complete. Although I didn't get to finish it all in this off-camera recording because I was sort of busy and I just wanted to get this episode out but I will do this off-camera and for my 50th episode special I, I'm either gonna finish rust stuff or I'm gonna do some more of st. Petersburg so you guys can tell me what you want me to do on my 50th episode special for season Adin of let's play Minecraft and uh, yeah this is basically how it's gonna go right here it's gonna sit on it's gonna sit over this water and I could possibly build some bridges and stuff and have like a boating tour section, I guess. Because there are actual bo boating tours that you could go on. And, uh, oh, that was a big slime over there. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I really don't need to make a spawn generator or slime generator. Because I have a swamp biome over there with a crap ton. <laughs> so, yeah, I forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah, um, they actually do have boat tours in St. Petersburg that you could go on. And, uh, before it was called St. Petersburg, it was actually called Leningrad, um, because, of course, Vladimir Lenin. And then before that, it was called Petrograd, I think. Yeah, it was Petrograd before that. Um, but that was before the Russian Revolution, actually. Um, but yeah, guys, I did finish about half of it on the boardwalk about placing the wood and stuff. But, um, this episode has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you guys think of the new layout down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new episode of Saturday Gaming. Spasiba and Dos Vidanya.